you know, we have little tiny defining moments every day that we don't really think too much about because they're not big ones, you know, and then we have big ones, big things that happen that totally change our lives. Those are the kind of defining moments we're talking about here. We're not talking about the defining moment of, you know, what you had for lunch and how it affects you the way you feel later in the day. You know, what I'm talking about here is those basic shaping defining moments, the defining moments that changed who I am today, that made me who I am today and became part of the fabric of my life. Um, moments that without them I wouldn't be the same as I am today. And um, those are the moments that I'm going to talk about. I was thinking about this defining moment that I had when I was in um, high school. And um, it was probably, it was my senior year of high school, and I used to hang out with this really cool friend of mine, um, this other girl. And um, I hadn't come out about my sexuality to anybody in the world at that particular point in time. It was my own private secret. Um, and I hadn't been with anybody at that time, you know, so, um, but I had this best friend, this was, it was a girl, and we were just buddies, and we hung around, and we partied, and got in trouble together, and raised holy hell together, and all that type of stuff, um, we just liked hanging out together, and being kids, you know, well, she had this boyfriend, and one day her boyfriend got pissy, because we were hanging out so much, and he wanted to hang out, he wanted her to go to his house to hang out, anyway, so right in front of a whole bunch of our friends in the smoking area of the school. Yeah, this was back in the 70s when schools had smoking areas. We were all sitting there having a cigarette, and he says right in front of all of our friends, you know, that I wouldn't be surprised if you two were lezzies. Oh, Jesus. You know, my skin crawled on that day. I have never forgotten, like, the look on her face, on... You know, his smirking face when he was saying it and on all of the friends, all of our friends whose jaws dropped, you know, and it was like, it was a horrible moment for me um, because I knew that he was saying something really bad at that particular point in time about us. And, you know, in that instant of time, in that one defining moment, he changed the friendship between her and I instantly. You know, she didn't want to hang out so much anymore. You know, I was kind of dykey looking to begin with. And um, so, you know, she didn't want to hang out as much with me anymore. We drifted apart as friends. We were never the same as friends ever again. And we had been best friends for like three years. Um, and, and I really had sort of a wake up call in my head that, hey, you know, is this going to be a rough road for me through life? Because, you know, once I skedaddle out of this town, you know, and sort of come out to the world, it, this is the kind of crap I'm going to encounter. And um, so it was a really defining moment for me in the fact that it changed the friendship. It destroyed the friendship, basically. Um, it changed the friendship to just basically a mutual acquaintance sort of thing. Um, it really made me think about the discrimination that I was going to face in the world. And, um, you know, by changing that friendship, it changed probably the course of history in some way or another, because I'm sure we still would have been friends today, you know, had he not done that, and I could have come out to her in a more reasonable manner further down the road. Um, you know, and maybe I would know her and her kids and stuff like that, you know, still today. But it changed a lot of things, you know. Um, in that one little instance, in that one little mean remark that this guy made. So that was definitely a defining moment in my childhood, um, in my teenage years. So anyway, that's, that's, uh, what number, uh, that's, that's number one. We'll start with my teenage years. Another major defining moment in my life and kind of a happy one was August 4th, 1994. My eldest niece was born that day and I held her when she was eight minutes old and her being put into my arms when she was eight minutes old was probably one of the biggest defining moments of my life it changed everything in me right to the core at that moment I decided at that moment that I wasn't going to die of any stupid disease that I was going to live a good life I was going to make this kid proud and I was going to be the best auntie in the whole world and everything changed for me. I mean, and I know that that's what kids do to people when you have a child that definitely has to be a defining moment in your life. 
you know, where I don't have any of my own, when I had my eldest niece, that was what I got, you know, from it, you know, and I went on to have more beautiful nieces and a nephew too. Um, but I have to say that the first one, that very first moment that you hold that child and know that that child is a blood relative of yours and it's only eight minutes old, your whole life changes, you know. I remember bawling, crying my eyes out for some reason, you know. Big butch bawling all over this baby and just thinking, oh my God, life has totally changed. There's this new little person in the world that's totally changed my life all in, you know, like a couple of seconds. And, um, you know, I became very, very close to this kid. Um, and, you know, I swore to God that I would live to see this kid graduate. And she's only got a couple of years now, and she's going to graduate, and I am so stoked, you know. And every day, you know, I thank God for every breath I take that gets me closer to the day of seeing her graduate. And um, and I'm glad she came into my life, and she came in at the right time, too, because I was in the midst of changing my life majorly at that time, um, from not so good at times, you know, to being a really good person and having a lot of really good times and using my talents wisely instead of stupidly. So, you know, she made a really big impact on my life and she was definitely my defining moment. One of my defining moments, I think, was um, a really big one for me was when I finally... Um, the moment I realized that HIV wasn't going to stop me from having love in my life, the love of a partner in my life. Um, I had been dating a woman, you know, sort of dating her, you know. I mean, we would go out after work for drinks and stuff, and I never thought this woman would ever date me because I, um, I was HIV positive, and she knew that. And, you know, but we'd go out for drinks after work, and we'd hang out, we'd play pool and play ping pong and that type of stuff. And we did this for, like, weeks. Um, you know, spending a lot of time together, but not really calling it dating, never kissing or any, me never letting it go any further than friends. And then we were sitting at a bar one night, um, after dinner and there was a beautiful fireplace. It's a beautiful defining moment. Um, it was a beautiful fireplace, beautiful fire going. And she leans over to me after dinner and says, I have to tell you something. And I was like, geez, you know, what could it be? And she, and I'm like, yeah. And she says, I'm incredibly attracted to you. And that was a defining moment in my life because at that moment I realized that despite having HIV, that I was still attractive, that I could still have love, and that, you know, somebody would still want to be with me. And it was the beginning of me figuring out that HIV is a disease. It's not who I am as a person. And it doesn't have to affect my love relationships if I don't let it mentally. So, you know, it was a really cool defining moment for me. Um, you know, we went on to become involved. And I asked her right there at the table, you know, well, what about the HIV? And she's like, I want to date you, not the HIV. And I just thought that was so cool. Um, she was so real, you know, and she's like, you know, we, we're adults, we, we can take care of each other, we can take care of what we need to take care of for precautions. I was bowled over, I was really bowled over, and that was definitely a major defining moment in my life. And it showed me that, you know, humanity can be good, and that people are good, and there are good people in the world, and there are strong people in the world that see past things like diseases and shortcomings and see the person for who they really are. Anyway, that's my video. And I challenge you now to make me a video of your three, three of your big defining moments. I know we all have many, many of them, but just try to pick three big defining moments and make me a video and put it here as a video response. I really want to hear what people have to say about this. Um, and if you think about it, it's fun. It can be really fun. You can have fun defining moments or sad ones or happy ones or major emotional ones, you know. So do me a video response. Remember to post it down here and we'll talk to you later.